Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm proud to demo the brand new LUTs collection from Sleek Lens called the Perfect Portrait Cinema LUTs. Now these LUTs are created specifically to help those portrait photos or those portrait videos that you might have and I want to demo a few of them here for you so you can see how quickly and easily you can get these really cool portrait cinema looks with these really great LUTs that you just drag onto your clip and it instantly creates these really cool effects. Now these LUTs also work in Photoshop and I have a separate video for that, but in this video I'm gonna kinda of demo how they look with videos. Now I'm going to demo these in Final Cut Pro, but you can actually use these in uh, Adobe Premiere or basically any editor that allows 3D LUT files. So I have this clip right here, it's just a guy walking on a beach here. Uh, it's a it's a decent clip. It was shot at a really cool time of day, but in this clip, I'm going to show the before and after of what you could do when you apply a certain LUT. So I'm going to click on this clip right here, and I'm going to go to my custom LUTs over here, and I'm going to choose a certain LUT. So let's go to choose custom LUTs here, and when you download the files from Sleek Lens after you purchase them, you're going to get two two items in your download. You're going to get a perfect portrait. Uh, LUTs lookbook as well as the actual LUT file. So I'm going to click over here and these are the file, the LUTs you're going to get. And for this particular portrait, I want to choose the uh, cinematic warm LUT right here at the top. I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose the cube file and I'm going to click open. And as you can see, it changed my, my video really cool. It gives that really cool warmth and contrasty look here. So this is the before here and then this is the after. Really cool look, really easy way to spice up your clips there. And uh, just if, if you don't want to have it this much, you know, give this much effect to it, you can actually just mix it down and it'll start to blend in the original clip. I actually do like the way this one looks, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, so let's go to another one. This is kind of a night scene, and it's a, it's a cool scene. It's a kind of a slow motion clip here we can see with these girls here. Really cool slow motion clip. I don't really like the the kind of yellowness, the yucky yellowness that's in the background. So I'm gonna change that with one of the LUTs here. So I'm gonna go over to this clip here, drag my custom LUT file over here, and I'm gonna choose the actual LUT file. So I'm gonna go down here to choose custom LUTs, and I'm gonna choose the, I'm gonna go back here to the LUTs files. I'm gonna choose the whitewash LUT. So I'm gonna click here, and then click the cube file and click open. So now you can see that the colors have changed. It's gotten a little bit cooler here. So here's the before. You can see that yucky yellow, kind of yellow green tone over there. And then here is the file. It kind of bumps up a little bit of those blues, a little bit of the oranges, makes it really, really nice. And here is where I can actually uh, go a little bit more advanced with it. I can actually add a tiny bit of contrast to this image. And this would just be for this particular image. I would darken it up a little bit maybe brighten up the whites here and I just added a little bit of contrast so this is the before here decent clip cool clip because it's slow-mo and then you have this clip right here with the nice color tones in it so now let's do one more here we have this cool hiker here she's hiking down another cool slow-mo clip but we want to add a little bit of mood to this uh, obviously it's a kind of a moody photo you got the fog back here it's just a really cool video so what we're gonna do here is add another custom LUT I'm gonna go over here drag my LUTs over and I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, the specific LUT that I wanna use. And I think I'm gonna go with the uh, LUT that's called a sad song. So I'm gonna click here, click the cue file and click open. And as you can see, it really darkens that up, adds a lot of contrast, kind of increases the blues here. So it's matching the environment here, but this is where it would probably be a little bit too much, a little bit too dark. So this is where I would mix in the a little bit of the original video clip here. So this is the before. Uh, kind of a bland, flat image here, bland, flat video, and then here is the after. Really cool, really cool effect there. So these are just a few examples of the perfect portrait cinema LUTs that you'll find over at Sleek Lens. Link in the description down below if you want to find out more about these LUTs. Again, they work with any software that has uh, the capability of using 3D LUT files. Uh, you can use them in Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, and of course Final Cut Pro, which I've demonstrated for you here. So if you want to look at more of those, go to sleeklens.com and check out more of these cool custom LUTs. Uh, this has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.